So I'm on my way to have a consultation for cosmetic surgery. I am wanting lipo on my jaw. And the reason I'm doing lipo, well, I'm seeing if lipo is the thing for me. I want permanent results. I want it to work. Suck out the fat. I've, I have like, I'm super insecure about my side profile. And I've always had like in my resting position, I have this. Um, always been incredibly insecure about it. No matter how much weight I've lost, I've been at like a hundred pounds and it's just always been there. Um, and I want it gone. And then one side of my face, I think it's this side, it hangs lower than this side and side profile pictures, horrible, hate it. Off guard pictures, hate it. Um, and I'm getting married at the end of the year and I want a chiseled jaw. I've always wanted this done. So I have my consultation. So I'm going to take you guys along for the journey. It's been maybe a month and I have scheduled my surgery date. I had, I just got back from my pre-op or like my pre-pre-op um, where I got vitals taken, blood work done. I'm super excited. I feel, I feel comfortable. Um, next step will be um, calling to get my prescriptions, meeting with the doctor. I meet with the doctor next week. So I will give an update on that. And then I have a Zoom meeting with a nurse where I ask like the questions about if I can have plastic uh, piercings so my holes don't close up. Um, meeting with the nurse, ask all the questions. Then surgery time. So I'm gonna take you all along for this journey to get my chin snatched. So tonight is the night before my surgery. Um, so this is what the night before surgery looks like. I We're getting one final look this is my bad side this is what i want them to fix but this is like me and my resting yep let's take care of that final say goodbye it is surgery day i I just got back from my one week post-op appointment with the surgeon. Um, they said things are looking great. Um, so they had to, this strip right here, they had to change that out. That's covering the incisions that I had. You can see um, the like slight bruising I have. Let's get better lighting. Look at that. Look at that jawline. Um, it is swollen today. Um, it doesn't hurt. Um, if I like stretch it too much, it's a, a little bit, but there's, I'm not on pain medication anymore. I did stop all of that. Um, but they're saying it's healing very, very well. They're like, they were all just surprised how well it's healing. Um, they did say it is like for sure swollen and that's going to be what it is for the next month. So this next month looks like me still wearing this. Um, when I'm at home, I don't have to wear it when I'm out and about but at home as much as I possibly can. This just helps with the swelling um, and like defining the shape and everything. Um, but I am able to just resume life as normal. Just wear this when I'm at home. For the next week, this Steri strip has to stay on. And then I have like a brown tape they gave me that um, I will have to like change out every three days. And that's just to keep the incision healing and all that stop from infections um but i'm incredibly happy with the results like even swollen um most people probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference i that jawline that wasn't there before so if this is what it looks like swollen i can only imagine what it's gonna look like totally healed um so i'm super happy i'm ecstatic um just because i like again even swollen these results are amazing to me some people probably won't notice um but it's something i definitely noticed and that's the whole reason i did this was for me not for anybody else um so i'm really happy i'm just excited to not wear this thing ever again in my life so sorry it took so long here is the long-awaited chin update 
so I am three, four months post-op? Three months post-op. Um, there's still probably some like minor swelling depending on some days, but for the most part, I'm basically healed. I think they said it'd take about three to six months for full healing, so I'm about there. I no longer have to see the surgeon for anything. I had a follow-up appointment a month ago and she was like, you're done, don't have to see you. So, here is my scars. I don't know if you can see them. So those two little kind of dents, um, those will slowly heal more. There was like an incision line that I can't really tell if you will see. I don't have great before and after pictures because every picture I strategically moved my face to make sure that my chin looked snatched. So here's from a video that I had earlier. So as you can see, just kind of like right here, this area is what um, I got sucked out of my face. Here is one of the pictures that has been the catalyst for me wanting this surgery is this side profile off guard picture of me. Here's like another off guard. This was from a few years ago, but another like off guard of like, just kind of like no definition in my chin, kind of always double chin. Okay, so I totally forgot I was recording this, but here is like the first um, off guard picture that my fiance actually got of me. It was an off guard video where I like saw myself and I was like, this is what I was wanting is just to genuinely like how I looked off guard. Do we see that jawline? Beautiful, like just an off guard video he got and I was obsessed. Okay, so I'm showing off guard pictures that I don't find attractive, but to prove a point, like so this is me laughing in the past would have looked much different. I don't think I have off guard laughing pictures because I would delete them. Um, I took this today. I was like laughing at something my fiance was doing and like that's how my chin looks now. We're like, yeah, a little bit of double chin, but not as bad as what would have been. Just another quick off guard picture. Um, not cute, not anything I'd post, but like still looking at my chin. I'm like, not again. Yes, this is me posing, but this is just kind of the best example of what my chin looks like fully healed, no like stretch pose, but relaxed, but still kind of posy.